Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in Unit 7, Lesson 7, Part 3. It says before exporting a library, it's a good idea to test functions with different input values to make sure that they export correctly. It tells us to debug the issues with these programs using the test written for each to check what's wrong with them. So let's go ahead and run this just to see what we get. All right, in the console log, we have it's 10 even. That's true. Five is it even. That's false. Is negative two even. It's true. Then we have 10 is odd. That's false. Five is odd. That's true. Negative five is odd. That's also true. We have 10 is between zero and five. Is that true? It says true, but it's definitely false. Is 10 between five and 10? That's false. And is 10 between 15 and 20? Well, that's also false. Let's go ahead and look at the program just to see the code that's in it. On line four, we have a function. It's called is even, and it says number is being passed. And then it's going to return that number mod two, and it's looking to see is that equal to zero. This percentage here is mod. With mod, what we're looking for is the remaining value. And so let's look at this first one. We see 10 is being passed here. What is 10 mod 2? Well, 2 goes into 10 five times. And if we take that 5 times 2, which equals 10, and we do 10, our original number, subtracted by that other 10, we get the value of 0. There is no remainder. This would produce true because the remainder is 0. Let's look at this next one. We're going to pass the number 5. So 5 goes here, 5 mod 2. Well, 2 goes into 5 twice. 2 times 2 is 4. So we take our original number, 5 minus 4, and we get a remainder of 1. Well, is 1 equal to 0? It's not. And so that returned back false. Let's look at our next group. So here, it's almost identical, except for here, they've added 1 and they've added negative one. And this in between is or. So if either of these comes back as true, it's gonna come back as true. So just one of these have to come back as true. We already know that 10 is even based upon our function before. Let's look at this one right here. Five mod two, we already discussed that it returns the value of one. We know that one equals one, so we see that that came back as true. Where this second part of this is important is right here. We didn't have to worry about negative numbers with zero, but with the one we do. Negative five mod two, it's gonna return the same value as before, except for it's gonna be negative one. And here it's looking to see, is that equal to negative one? And that is true. Let's look at this last section because this has an error. So let's look at the function. Is between, and we have three different arguments. We have number, low and we have high and in our console log we see that 10 is the number our low is going to be zero and our high is going to be five if we throw 10 into this we say is the number 10 greater than low it is or is the number 10 less than high this comes back as true this comes back as false we have an or here because one of them is true it comes back as true. So this ends up being our problem. We have an or and what we need is an and. So let's look at the other console logs. So here we have is 10 greater than the lowest number? It is. And so that's true. Is 10 less than the high number 10? It's not, but because this reports as true, it's logged as true. And then we have here is 10 greater than the low number? It's not, but 10 is less than the high number. Because of that, this is true, and that reports back to true. All we need to do is replace the or with an and, so that both conditions have to be true to report true. Let's reset this and rerun it. And we see that that went ahead and fixed our problem. Let's test this just a little bit further by changing this number here to be 17. While the console log says 10, we put the value of 17 in, and now that returns as true. If we wanted to fix that, we could just go in here to the string and change that number, and that'll fix it.
So the problem with this is just the and. It's important that you understand for or just one of the criteria need to be true or to come back as true. For and, everything has to come back as true for it to come back as true. And you're going to need to use that later on. It's important that you understand that. Once you feel comfortable using the and and or, make sure you click finish.